In the last lecture, we learned about some of the data types in JavaScript like string, number, boolean, etc. Now, in JavaScript, a variable can be modified to store value of different data types. And that's why we say that JavaScript is dynamically typed. Now, what do we mean by dynamically typed? Dynamically typed means that the data type is automatically assigned to a variable based on the value we are storing in it. And we don't have to manually specify the data type. Let's try to understand it with a practical example. So here, let's go ahead and let's create a variable. Let's call it maybe my var. And to this, let's assign a value 100. So currently, we are assigning a numeric value to this variable my var. So if I hover over this, you will see that the data type of myva is number. Now later we can change the value of this myva variable. So now I am changing the value of this myva variable and to this I am going to assign a string value. Let's say hello. And JavaScript is not throwing us any error. And if I hover over this myva, you will see that the data type is still showing it as number because initially we assigned a numeric value to it. But if I save the changes, we don't have any error. You see, no error is logged. So earlier we were assigning a numeric value to it. So its data type was number. But now since we are assigning a string value to it, the data type of this myva has changed to string. And to check that, what I will do is, I'll use console.log statement. And there we are going to use an operator type of and using this operator we can get the data type of any value here i want to get the data type of my var variable so if i save the changes you will see that the data type of this my var variable is string if i put this same console.log statement before changing its value so before we are reassigning it with a string value since initially 100 was assigned to it its data type will be number and after that when we have assigned a string value to it its data type has changed to string so if i save the changes earlier the data type was number but now the data type has changed to string so as you can see in javascript the data type of a variable can change based on the value which we are assigning to it so the data type of a variable can change dynamically and that's why javascript is dynamically typed so all those programming languages which support this kind of behavior, they are called as dynamically typed programming language and JavaScript is one of them. Dynamically typed simply means that the data type is automatically assigned to a variable based on the value we are currently storing in it and we do not have to manually specify the data type. Here you see, we are not specifying the data type of any variable manually. The data type of the variable is calculated based on the value which is stored in it. And that's why JavaScript is dynamically typed. Now, this behavior of dynamic typing can be very useful as we do not have to worry about using appropriate data type while declaring a variable. JavaScript will automatically take care of that and save us some coding time. But it can also be the source of some of the difficult to find bugs in your program. Now, the opposite of dynamic typing is static typing. And static typing simply means that once the data type of a variable is set, its data type cannot be changed. For example, we have TypeScript language, which is a superset of JavaScript. There, we can explicitly specify what type of data a variable can store. If we specify the data type as number there, then that variable can only store numeric values. If we specify the data type of a variable as string, that variable can only store string values. So such type of behavior is called as static typing because once the data type of a variable is specified, it can only store that type of value. But here in case of JavaScript, we don't have static typing, we have dynamic typing. The data type of a variable is determined based on the value which we are currently storing in it. All right. In JavaScript, we also have a concept called type coercion. And type coercion happens when JavaScript converts value of one data type to another data type automatically. Let's try to understand it with an example. So what I will do is I'll create a variable 
let's call it age and let's assign it with the value 28 now what i want is i want to log a message in the console saying that my age is and then i want to print the value stored in the age variable now if you see this is a string value and this age is a numeric value so here what javascript will do is it will automatically convert this numeric value to string value and then it will concatenate this string with that string value so in the output you will see that this age is printed as a string value if i save the changes you will see that age is printed as a string value it is in white color specifying that it is a string if i normally print this age variable so if i say console.log and if i print the value stored in the age variable you will see it is bluish in color which represents that it is a numeric value but here in this result what has happened is this age has been converted to a string value and then this string is concatenated with that string value and the result is this so this is called as type coercion unlike many other programming languages in javascript we do not have to manually convert a variable to appropriate data type before using it javascript takes care of it behind the scenes for example when we use alert function this alert function expects a string value so for example here let me go ahead and let me create two more variables maybe first name let's say john age we have already created and let's also create a boolean variable is married and let's say true okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to use this alert function let me remove this console.log statement and in the alert function we are going to show a message we are going to show the first name then i am going to use some string value and here we will say is a and then we'll specify the age then we'll also add some more string years old male okay and then let's also say is he married question mark and then we are going to print the value of is married so now here what javascript will do is it will convert this first name which is already a string to string value it will convert this age which is a numeric value to a string value and then it will concatenate it and it will also convert this is married which is a boolean value to a string value and then it will concatenate it so if you save the changes you see john is a 28 years old male is he married true so it has converted all other types to string type and this is called as type coercion javascript automatically converts a variable to appropriate data type before using it and this is called as type coercion this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day